The Inquisitor has a repertoire of different weapons that they are trained to use. With their highly tuned senses and training, they can not only survive, but thrive against the most harrowing of foes. We are back with our hero, Valgus and Hawk. Three lives, one character. How's everybody doing today? We are back with Hawk. Hawk has a couple of new toys. What are his toys? Um, hold on one second. How did this happen? Gear nodes. We have our sword on our back. Yes. Okay. Oh, he just must have it in his wrong hand. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. All right. We're back. Um, so let me show you. I'm going to save just in case I die. This won't count as a death. You're probably like, Icarus, what does he have? You're going to find out. A good friend of mine, Moose. That's what we call him. I won't use his real name. He recommended this mod, Hookshot. Yeah. Hey, hey. So, oh, jeez. <laughs> so now we can get around. A little harrowing. But... And then what's the other one? So this one's really cool. Um, it is not a spell. I'm not seeing it as a spell. It's called stopwatch. Now he pops it open like that. Let's do this again. This is gonna be really handy. What's it do? Hold it down, slows down time. Now I'm gonna have an in-game story reason for this, especially when I start RPing this character. But, and then we can go to work with our, whatever guns we are using. So, um, my rifle is still messing up, but I'm gonna use it um, 32 more days till the end of the world. Does Hawk know that? No, I'm gonna use it for long range stuff. See, it worked. And I'm not hitting him though. down a little bit still have to figure out the uh it shoots very way different than an arrow i'm just happy that we're actually actually firing all right now these guys completely have the capacity to me. Okay, here's one coming. Oh man, he literally dodged the bullet. Oh shoot. Got him. Got him. Uh oh. Oh. Got him. And then we have one more left. How are you? That's just ridiculous. Now that's just ridiculous. All right, we got three of them. Rifle seems to be working. We're running out of bullets. So that's a problem. So when if, if we are able to get to the next town, we will uh, check out a blacksmith and make some, some quicksilver rounds. How much money do we have? We have a good amount of money. We're okay. Um, I am working on a episode or a like introduction video for the next set of st stories. So I'm excited about that. Stay tuned. Should be out next week. What was that? Yeah, what's behind there? So I'm changing this character a little bit too. Uh, his name is going to be Casey and uh, you'll have to tune in to find out more Anything bond there If you guys liked there's a character I played a long time ago named Buck Rageclaw He's gonna basically be be that character a lot younger All right uh Oh What? Who's the... Where's the... Aha. Okay, 
okay, something's going on. I really need to boost my sneak. Oh crap. What is going on? I don't s oh. All right, I know what we're gonna do. We are gonna throw a freaking bomb down there. Where are the bombs? I thought we had bomb bombs. Let's see. No, maybe I used them all. Oh, I didn't mean to throw smoke bombs. Now I can't see anything. Ugh. All right. Um, how do we want to end this guy? Let's just try with the rifle. He's distracted. All right. Kablooey. Down with ya. Okay. Um. I feel like we need to be collecting gear, but maybe not. I could have swore we had. These bombs. Maybe I used them all. Let's see. Oh. Are they in this area? Oh, oh they're called grenades. I'm an idiot. Okay. Memo to self. Alright. I'm thinking it's... Uh, there's a jogger over there. It's kind of cold, so let's throw on our... Oh, shoot. Let's get a... Uh, sun, sun arrows. Already around. So satisfying when the gun does work. All right. Uh, I hope these people are okay. Maybe we could stop in for some food. Be good on food. Yeah, it seems that way. We need to be very careful. All right, this place is locked up. Oh, there's. Everything is dead. Not everything. Uh oh. Oh. Man, this is like it's like the walking dead. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Oh crap! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Oh crap! Run, 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 run. That sucked. All right, let's just keep our distance. Come on, center mass. Beast. Put him down. All right, it's very doable if then we're doing one at a time. But if we get mobbed, oh, I love that sword. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the battle axe and then we're gonna get rid of the great sword. That's 18 damn, 18, no, the weight is, yeah, 18. It's freaking heavy too. All right, never mind. That was a bad idea. Um, take the great sword and then we'll. Give you back the battle axe. Where is the battle axe? Where the in-game reason, story reason why I'm holding on to that is because he wants to show it to um, a mage or something like that, so they can maybe help. Oh, you know. Okay, watch out! He's an archer. Got him. Oh, this isn't good. I know that there's a city up ahead. So... Um... No 
we do need to eat too. It's getting late. And it's cold. Alright, that guard seems pretty chill. This is good news. So the first character I think I'm going to be coming out with is something called the Eldritch Bard. So, curious what that is. Uh, oh. Where? What? Who? Who? Hi. Who? Okay. All right, I'm going to save. Yeah, of course. Accidentally hit one of the guys. I'm reloading. If you guys feel like that's cheating, yell at me in the comments. Alright, guards, I need you to uh, stiffen your upper lip and uh, hold the line. such a dork, but I really enjoyed that. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, there's more. More. Okay. Got him. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Got one. Okay, okay, we gotta get a better vantage point. They're gonna kill that horse. Here they come. Time to run. Okay. Uh, maybe we can do... Uh, uh, bomb. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was freaking awesome. Oh, that was great. The Inquisitor is a very fun... Oh, he killed them all. Oh! Wait. No, it didn't. Now we killed them all. Oh. All right. Um, if there's a blacksmith... not the only black Is that our horse? <clears throat> we need a horse. You're stopped. Hey, Good. handsome. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if we can... Yeah, there we go. Now I can drop this. Drop it. All right. Yes. Wow. The townsfolk are dropping like flies. And, uh... Sorry. Confiscating that ring. This is intense. By the way, hope everyone's 
having a stupendous day. I'm doing good. Doing good. Brought my light out. My lot. Alright. I've been really, really missing Skyrim, so... Maybe we can craft our own rounds. Um, sure. And then I wonder... Can we craft grenades? Or bombs or something? You remind me of Topal the pilot. Drifting to new worlds while in search of an old one. Good to know. Okay, so we need quicksilver and steel. And then what's the so shotgun rounds most effective at short range? Stagger the target. Does 21 damage. We need more meridia rounds. Okay, bone meal. Ooh, we need to go down and get bone meal. Um, flares, these are really powerful too. Don't use them very often. Okay. Um, I don't know what mod this is from. Um, alright, well, we're gonna stay here for the night. Sorry if that made anyone dizzy. I was watching a fellow YouTuber play, and they did a swing, right. a swing motion that made me nauseated. And someone pointed out that I have like a very janky play style, so I'm trying to be conscientious not to make people feel like they're in a roller coaster ride. All right, we're gonna take off our mask and. My grandma would say, we're gonna take off our coat and stay a while. I mean, we're not really taking off our coat. I will You gotta be- If I hit someone, let's take care of this one. Got him. Oh, he could have died. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? I will close your wounds, great and small. I would love for you to do that. Theoretically, we could start training restoration. Um, for me, as a person who kind of role plays these characters, I feel like you shouldn't be able to just Mid learn magic for no reason. So I could see Belgus teaching him. Where is the innkeeper? You, Anything you. Ah! You oh, you frighten me, traveler. You shouldn't just greet I'll someone you unexpectedly. You seem, you seem rather spooked. I'm terrified too. So. Uh, I do it all the time. So my brother used to tell me, but I feel it's warranted. I don't care if Ulfric himself bent his knee and asked me to join the cause. I'm staying inside where it's safe and warm. Having some coffee today. So you're a Stormcloak? Was a Stormcloak. Now I'm just an ordinary shut-in. Never going to leave this in, as long as Meraki is willing to have me. Maybe I can marry his son. And then they'll let me stay here forever. Okay, so she's uh, abandoned her post, apparently. Um, how, how would Hawk feel about that? I don't think he particularly sees it as honorable, but he's not gonna put his two cents in. He's not political or anything. Eric is all mine, you can't have him. <laughs> Well, Hawk doesn't know who Eric is, so I don't think he wants him either. You're fancy, you fancy He's Eric. nice enough. Got good hair, good teeth, and the end will be his when Meraki's gone. So I wouldn't have to pay for a better room. So why are you afraid of leaving? I'm cursed. Really it's dumb question. It's been with me since I was a young child. It's the only explanation for what happened at Helgen. This is really important. Because he doesn't know about the dragon, and this is what's causing all this, so this is going to push him towards solving this problem. 
where you went Helgen when the dragon attacked, you'll you'll have to leave this in eventually. Okay, we'll propose the question a little bit differently. He's getting intel about the dragon attack, Helgen. No, this was before. He's skeptical that it even oath. happened. But as one of the less talented sisters, I was tasked mostly with retrieving supplies from the city. It happened on a Morndas. I was traveling on the road west to Helgen when pearls of snow began to pelt my brow. I no sooner blinked when the snowstorm came thundering from above, except there was a piece of black crouched further down the road, a woman wearing a hooded robe, holding a small child. Oh, this is creepy. Unfortunately, unfortunate, but the duty calls. You ignored the peasants and retrieved the supplies. You tried to help her. If such a child dies, it just proves it was too weak for this world. I mean, I think the Inquisitor would see things that way because of what he's gone through in his life, but he's a compassionate person, so he said, you tried to help her? Indeed. I swore an oath to Ulfric Stormcloak, my brothers and sisters, but my oath to the gods came before this menial task. Okay. The woman you found on the road, did you try to speak to her? No. This was before. I just sworn the oath. But, as one of the less talented sisters, I was tasked mostly with retrieving supplies from the city. It happened on a Morndas. I thought we already... I was traveling on the road west to Helgen. I no sooner blinked, except there was a piece of black crouched further down the road. Oh. A woman wearing a hooded robe, holding a small child. Okay. Unfortunately, but duty calls, you ignore the peasant and retrieve the- You must have us confused with Imperials, friend. Retrieving the supplies was my duty as a soldier, but the mother and child were my duty as a Nord. Okay. I wonder if I, I the sun was answer with the, the bottom was... one. No. This is not hot. This hawk. cold was raw oh. enough that you could feel it pass through your teeth, even when your mouth was closed. Uh, a newborn babe is alone in the forest is a scary proposition. Yes. As I said, Oof, I no didn't... place for a child. So I hurried after her. Best I could tell, she was headed towards Orphan Rock, the one place every Nord child in Helgen fears. <gasps> a hack. Orphan Rock. A dangerous place, not exactly a child. Exactly child's play. What so? What's so special about Orphan's Rock? We're not from here, so we would ask that question. There's a lot of tales parents tell their children to get them to eat their greens or pray to the divines. One of them is the story of the Hag Graven of Orphan Rock. They used to say if you didn't pray to the Nine, Arkay would send the old hag to kidnap you in your sleep. The old The witches of Orphan Rock are said to be the grown-up versions of all the children who forgot their suppertime prayers. As a young woman grown, I've long since outlived such juvenile tales, but my hand couldn't help but reach for my weapon. Oof. So were you scared of Orphan Rock? You had to chase them? Then what? I see. It still sounds fairly mundane. What happened after what? Okay, what happened? Darkness set in. I bit my lip, trying to keep my focus on the woman and the child. I followed their tracks through the narrow passageway formed by the rock. But when I came out on the other side, the trail had vanished. So they vanished? Or something vanished them? What then? I found myself standing in a plot of follow dirt, empty save a rock marker. I called out again to the days. woman, Whoops. but there came no answer. Then I called out once more, and then came a reply. It was a knock, like knuckles rapping against a door. And with each knock, the noise grew louder. No, not louder, closer. I swiveled around, and in my panic, I dropped my mace. It wasn't until I'd reached for it that I saw it. Oh, she does have a mace. Saw what? The snow jumping off the dirt, as if the knocking wasn't coming from behind me, but beneath. What? Higher and higher, until it was right under my feet. And that's when the clouds shifted, and the moonlight lit the marker in front of me. It wasn't a rock marker. It was a grave marker. By the divines, what did you do? Take it, you fled. I did what any sane Nord would have done. I ran. 
When I got back to the camp, the Quartermaster demanded to know where I'd been and what had happened to the supplies. In truth, no explanation would suffice. It's just as well, because even I can't explain what was under my feet that night. Whatever it was, it was scary, and I think I need to change. I need a change of clothes. You stumbled upon an oblivion gate, obviously. Obviously. Uh, is that all, you big baby? Me She's too. It's such a haunting story. I think I soil myself every time I tell it. So, you, we're going to stop talking. You brought this curse on you. I would like to say It's that. always been a part of me. You see, my mother told me that I nearly died in childbirth. As a result, part of my soul was close to the void, and the wandering dead were drawn to me in their confusion. Yet, she told me not to worry. As long as my heart was full of life, it would fill that empty part of my soul and ward off the dead. Her advice was unnecessary, as a child's spirit is as stout as Shore's bones. It wasn't until I was a girl of twelve, my heart broken by a boy I loved, that at first I yearned for death. Oh, those boys so cruel, just like men. The boy made a wise choice. Even now, you are obviously... I don't think we're going to talk about Until this curse anymore. Not, you know, bigger fish to fry. Uh, we think, though, it's 12 o'clock, that that was the type of vampire that lives underneath the ice uh, and can grab you. I know that was the dirt, but, you know, an Inquisitor is an expert at monsters, so... You look like you've seen your share of adventure. Hey, I just want to rent a room. Fact, maybe you can help me with something. No, I, I'm not going to help you with anything. I'm going to find the thief in the reach. Whoops. Seriously, how do I? It's a beautiful song. Something on your mind? No, there's nothing on my mind. This Sanyon says betrayers shave their rear ends to resemble the Nord ones they are fond of licking. But Zajira, she is loyal to the Talmor. Her rear end is not shaved. Okay. Um, it is late, so I wonder if the innkeeper, the innkeeper is sleeping? You know what? We have a bedroll, and it's a zombie apocalypse, so what we're gonna do is just throw the bedroll down. the bed door. There you go. Turn off our our lantern and we're gonna eat. We are hungry. Drink some water. You know what? Well, here's what we're gonna do actually. How can I help you? No. Oh, About yeah, that's time. right. We don't have an innkeeper. All right. Because you can get, they can feed you. We'll drink some mead. Drink some cooked. I am well fed. Is that true? Yeah, we're pretty tired though. I want to see if I get any debuffs. Um, let's see. Stamina and Magicka reduced. Oh, this is from alcohol. Do I have any insanity stuff from my sanity mod? All right, so how tired am I? Exhaustion. Maybe, I, oh yeah, rested. Oh, we're not even that tired. Okay. Oh. We're sleeping relatively well. So let's get some rest, and we're going to hit it on the road. <coughs> yes. Yeah, we needed this. Uh, I mean, health is about survival. All right, so do we want to take it in? Um... I think what we're gonna do is sneak. Yes, we can take one more and sneak. That's so key to this build. And then I really would like steady hand. The other thing, let's pack up. No Draugr, okay good. Is put, starting to put 
some in here. So let's see. Rifles do 10% more damage. So I'm going to save just to make sure that this works. So it's at 36. Okay, let's see. It's at 36 before. It's at 40 now. All right, we're going to leave that. That's good. Rifles seem to be working great too. So let's gear up. Get ready. I'm having so much fun with this character. We don't wear the mask is nice because it lets you still steal and commit crimes and you don't accrue a bounty as long as you're wearing the mask. But if they see you, it's a whole nother situation. Sitch. It's a whole nother sitch. Alright, let's see what we can hawk. So we need Quicksilver and Steel. Need something? Good morning. Need something? Yes. Oh, sometimes they do this. Good morning. Alright, maybe the black... I saw that the blacksmith is dead, but sometimes... They'll get replaced. With another NPC. I'm thinking not. But here's what we can do. The Inquisitor's not completely against this, is we can break into his home and see if, uh, we can see if there's any stuff that we can wrangle. Come on. You know, the Inquisitor's moral for the most part, but... He'll do what he... Oh. I don't know what we're, we can make with these, but... Okay, we're officially... This is gray. Okay. Take the food. We are... We need to drop off some stuff. Um... Hookshot. The hookshot weighs kind of a lot. I don't think I need that anymore. Could have sold that, but I kind of cheated to get it. Um, we don't need all that. Hmm. See, this is where I, as a player, start panicking. I want to hold on to everything. All right, what else do we got? Oh, can we bust into that? Come on. Sorry, car drove by. Let's see. Oh, I suck at lock picking. I really like the uh, lock picking mini game in uh, Oblivion. I find this one just to be annoying. You might not be able to get it. We don't need to either. I'm gonna keep trying though. Oh, okay. forget, screw this. Uh, what else? Cool. Okay. Alright, we're gonna see if we can forge some bullets. I'll take what we can get. But even if we can't, when we get to White Run, I think we're gonna go to Helgen first. So we'll probably go through Riverwood. And maybe there'll be a smith there. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's do shotgun shells. Cool, cool. Um, all right. Well, I need to unload stuff, but I'm going to call this an episode for now. Uh, Hawk, thanks you for watching his, uh, potential death. But he did survive. And, uh, we will both see you in the next episode very, very soon. Hope everyone's having a great day. Later.